Hey, Star Stable family, Stacy here. Another fun and exciting episode of Star Stable with Stacy. All the Valentine's Day goodness put me in a good mood, and now I've been wanting to get a new horse. I know a lot of people have been asking me to. I think it's time. We're spacing it out pretty well. Um, so I am here in Yarlaheim to take a look at five of my favorite horses probably in the game. <laughs> These five are an awesome selection here at Yarlison Farm. Take a quick peek. <laughs> we have two beautiful ponies, which we already have a pony. We don't need another one right now, <laughs> maybe in the future. But we also have a Buckskin Andalusian, a Chestnut Andalusian, and a Frisian Sport Horse over here on the left. I'm thinking about getting one of the bigger guys. I know those are three of the most popular horses in the game as well, after Shires. I think Shires are number one. <laughs> but yes, it's time. Let's get a new horse. Maybe we'll take a quick peek at a couple of them. Let's see what this one says. The Frisian horse have long been crossbred with other breeds, English and Arabian horses in particular. Over time, a unique breed developed, the Frisian sport horse. These have the long wavy mane and tail of the Frisian and a calm and easy temperament. They come in many different colors and are often very athletic with increased endurance. Sounds pretty exciting. Now how about the Andalusian? They come from southern Spain and are descended from the Spanish horses of the Middle Ages. These majestic runners are used in all kinds of equestrian events. They are easy to train and sturdy with a friendly disposition that has made them very popular over all of Jorvik. Oh, that's such a tough choice. I know that whichever horse I do end up choosing, there's going to be some of you out there who might be a little disappointed. Why didn't you get the other horse, Stacy? <laughs> I totally understand, but don't worry. We have a long road ahead of us of buying lots of horses. Um, so yeah, hopefully you will enjoy the one I pick. We'll get s maybe you can make some suggestions for me for gear, and we'll do some more quests today too. All right, you guys. I think I've decided on the Buckskin and Illusion. Uh, the level restriction is level eight, which we are level twelve, so that's good. And the cost is seven hundred and ninety star coins. So on the lower end of some of the the horses, some of the new ones cost a bit more. I think we're gonna go with this one. So let's pick out a name. Honey, honey pumpkin, honey pumpkin. That sounds adorable. <laughs> oh, I really like that name. It sounds very sweet. Honey clover. That's fun. I think maybe we'll go with Honey Clover. Yay, we got a new horse, you guys. I hope everyone's excited. I know how excited you guys get when you get a new horse, so I, it's fun for me to do as well. There he is. There's Honey Clover. Hey, buddy. We're going to have to find him some awesome gear. Okay, I've got some spare gear on him for now. We will find something that suits him. I'm thinking purple or green, maybe? We'll have to make a special trip to the mall to find him something. Phew, we made that long trip up to the observatory because Mario has something like three quests for us to do. So, man, he really needs our help. <laughs> let's check in. Hey, Mario. Oh, let's start mm. up here. I have time for you now. So Steve thought you could use the telescope to see who is digging holes in his field. That's completely nuts, but I do want to help you. I'm very busy watching the sky as I've received some reports about mysterious light phenomena, but I haven't seen any yet. I have been so busy with this that I haven't had time to eat. Tell you what, if you can ride down to Elizabeth and Valedale and get some cupcakes for me, I can let you borrow the telescope while I'm eating. That sounds, sounds fair, but we just... We just came from there, so it's gonna be another long trip. <laughs> I, I'm very busy here, as you can see. Important things are happening in the sky. <laughs> but maybe you can help me? Yesterday night, I saw that some beautiful shooting stars and fragments of stardust landed close to the observatory. I, I can't get to them in this difficult terrain, but you have a horse, and you're such a good rider, so I know that you'll be able to help find them. Can you please collect six star stones for me? I think you can find fragments all around the mountain on which the observatory stands. Okay, last one. Hello, Nova. Mon Dieu. The winters are terrible. Every year I get snowed in here and I sit in the observatory for months without seeing a single other living thing. Well, maybe a lemming or two, but that isn't really the same thing. 
The whole route up here gets covered in snow and ice, and avalanches fall almost every day. It is a life-threatening trip to get up and down off this mountain. Enough! I, I'm not doing this anymore. I've written to the council in Silverglade to see if they could do anything about this. Yesterday, I actually got an answer, and the councilman in Silverglade wants to speak with me. Can you ride down and see what he has to say? Just imagine if he has a solution to this problem. Au revoir, Nova. Come see me when you find out what he has to say. So as you can tell, my French accent is a little rusty. <laughs> so let's go find these star stones and pay a trip to Elizabeth for cupcakes. Two more star stones. All right, we will catch the next one on our way back. Let's go find Elizabeth since we're almost there anyway. Hi, Elizabeth. Oh, hello. Hi, Nova. Nice to see you again. I heard that Alex will be back soon. We'll need some more help then. Keep working on your amazing competition results to do more work here in Silverglade. Oh, you're here to get some cupcakes for Mario? <laughs> He's so obsessed with the stars that he forgets to eat. Please take these cupcakes to Mario at the observatory. See you again soon. When Alex is back, we have a lot to do. I know the quests with Alex are always so much fun. Last star stone. Yes, okay, good. And we have the cupcakes. So now we will return to Mario, turn those in. And then I think we can pay a visit to the councilman. Oh man, Mario, it was so hard not to eat the cupcakes on the way over. They smell delicious. Amazing, you're an angel. Yum yum. Look at them, exciting. Can you believe they come from outer space and you're the first human to touch them? It's breathtaking. I'll examine these later. Oh, I just love how much he loves space <laughs> and the stars. He's very passionate, that Mario. You can borrow the telescope while I'm eating. I've aimed it for you, so it's ready to use. I hope you can find out who or what is digging up Steve's field. Thank you. Ooh, we get to use the giant telescope. Yes. All right. This is the field. Oh, there's the castle. Nothing? <gasps> there he is! <laughs> He's so cute. It's another one I wanted to scoop up and put in my pet bag. <laughs> Already done? What did you see? Oh, chipmunks! It won't be easy getting rid of them. I've heard they're persistent rascals. They dig like bulldozers and have destroyed a lot of archaeological sites for me during the years. Hmm. You have to go back to Steve and tell him that you've identified the diggers. I'll keep looking for anything inexplicable in the sky. Say hello to Steve for me, and good luck with the chipmunks. I wonder if he ever saw that UFO crash. Remember we found the UFO around Christmas time, the crash site? I wonder if he saw that happen. Oh good, so we will go to Silverglade now to talk to the councilman and Steve. Okay, let's let Steve know that there's chipmunks in his field. Mm. Doom and gloom. Chipmunks? First mice and now chipmunks digging up my fields and posing a threat to both harvest humans and horses. Mm. They're very clever little creatures and very shy, as you've noticed. You had to use a telescope to see them. The vet in Silverglade may have some good advice. I, I don't want to hurt them, they're so cute, but I have to get rid of them. Ride to the vet and ask for advice. There she is, the lovely vet. Hello, Nova. I'd love to help you, but I can't right now. I have to go and help a horse with hay fever. But if you come back tomorrow, I'll be able to help you. She's so busy, that vet. All right, ma'am. We'll be back tomorrow. Let's speak with the councilman. There he is. Hello, councilman. Good day to you. Don't Official you business. Me. Good day. Yes, I have been working hard on finding a solution to Mario's problem. Both on finding a solution and finding a way around the paperwork problems with it. It hasn't been easy. I wrote to Mario to let him know that the boss of the construction company we hired to solve the problem is now here in Silverglade. He is waiting in the town square for Mario to come and show him the observatory. Now that you are here, maybe you could help him instead. Go and speak with him, Nova. He is standing by the fountain in the town square. Should be right over here. There he is. 
Me? Are you Mario? No, of course you're not. You're Nova. Nice to meet you. I'm Foreman Olaf. Such such a nice village here. It must be terrible to leave here to go to work. But such is life. The first thing we need to do is inspect the site to see what we need to do. Should we build a tunnel, a new road? We need to look for the best solution. Take this camera and ride up to North Link where they are digging a tunnel. Find a good place to take some pictures where we can see the observatory clearly. While you take some pictures, I'll get a ride up there. We'll look at your pictures up there and talk about it. I'll meet you at North Link later. If he's going up there, why couldn't he take pictures? Just saying. <laughs> okay, we've got our trusty camera. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna take three photos. That was the first. Here's our second. Oh, there's the observatory. Very nice. Very nice wide shot. And here is our third. Another cinder block <laughs> big square stone block I don't know what they're doing there but they probably shouldn't be there okay the foreman should be up here now over here yes there he is don't leave me no there you are now we'll have a look nice pictures <laughs> thank you I see, now that I've had a chance to think about it, I think I know what to do. The mountain is too steep to build a good road, and a tunnel would be very expensive. The best choice, in my opinion, and I am an engineer, so I, I am right, <laughs> would be to build a new gondola lift. If we are lucky to have use- if- if we are lucky, we can use the foundations from the old line to build a new one. Oh, that must be what the giant cinder blocks are. <laughs> There must be more locations than we see in your pictures. Look for the old foundations and place GPS locators on them. Once you have put out the GPS locators, I could see them on my device here. When I could see the locations, we could tell if we can use them or not. Okay. All right, so it looks like there's five GPS locators, so probably five cinder blocks. One down, four to go. One more GPS locator to go. Should be right up here. Oh, I see it. It's over on the side. And done. Excellent. GPS locators applied by me and Honey Clover. All done. Mm -hmm. Great. Now we'll check my machine here. Mm -hmm. uh, the old foundations are no good for us to use. Oh no. They're too badly built and damaged to be safe. We need to build new foundations, but first we need to get rid of the old ones. Have you used dynamite before? No, really? It isn't hard. Just read this brochure. <laughs> Instructions for dynamite use. Number one, place the dynamite on what you want to get rid of. Number two, light the dynamite. Number three, run! <laughs> there, now you know as much about dynamite as I do. Blast away all the old broken foundations and we'll build some new ones. Good luck and be careful. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's place this dynamite. <gasps> now we have to run. Oh gosh, okay. I kind of want to see what it looks like though. <gasps> <Ooh! laughs> that was pretty exciting. All right, let's do the rest. <laughs> Number three, placing dynamite will never stop being fun. Oh no, turn around. No, we're stuck. Run. No, no. Oh no. All right, so we're gonna pick up the dynamite quest again and try it a little differently this time. Okay, we survived four. Let's place the last one and just run. Oh, good. <laughs> just run back to the foreman. Hooray! We didn't get blown up that time. Yes. 
Man, he, what was he thinking trusting us with dynamite? <laughs> Don't leave me company. Boom, boom, boom! What a fantastic bunch of explosions. They must have heard that all the way in Fergrove. I planned, thought some more, then planned some more while you were gone. We need a gondola lift to put up, so I searched and found one from the Alps that was that we are thinking of buying. It is solid and complete and best of all, cheap. I've written up a purchase order letter. Please write over to Derek at the post office and ask him to send it. Here we are. Hey Derek, what's Hello. going on? Hey, Nova, letter to the Alps. You are lucky. I was just about to send out all the international mail with the helicopter. Come back tomorrow and maybe you'll have your answer. These things usually go quickly. Thanks, Derek. We're checking in with Barney now because we, uh, we're we getting red dye from him for our Good vest evening, no with Donald. Hi, Nova. I harvested the beetroots now. They have the most wonderful red color you can imagine. I have squeezed them so for you, so your die is ready. I can promise you that the tailor will be happy. Oh, thank you, Barney. I can't wait till we get our vest from Donald. Hey, Donald. Got some red dye for you. Then I know. Thank you, Nova. Such a beautiful red color. It's above my expectations. Barney grows high quality beetroots. Then I know. Now I need some green color for your vest. Old Miss Holdsworth in Moorland used to come here and she can make a green dye from bushes growing in Moorland. She has a special way of making dye by boiling the leaves in water with olive oil in it. Ask her how it's done, but don't forget to get some olive oil from Harold. Mrs. Holdsworth, who makes green dye, has a secret ingredient that helps her get a really rich green color. But everyone knows the secret ingredient is olive oil, so you should get some from Harold. He's standing by the fountain in the middle of the village. Take the oil to Mrs. Holdsworth. Awesome, we could do that. And then we'll be done? Is it the final ingredient? Hey, Harold. Okay. Hey. Of course I have the olive oil for Mrs. Holdsworth. Here you are, Nova. This is a bottle of our finest olive oil. Bring it to Mrs. Holdsworth, but be careful not to drop it. The bottle is oily and slippery. <laughs> Thanks, Harold. <laughs> hey, lovely Mrs. Holdsworth. We ask her for a lot. She does a lot for us. Hello, Nova. It's been a while. Green dye, you say? Of course. The bushes here in Moreland have large, fine leaves, which I can boil to make green dye. But I have a secret ingredient. Olive oil. Oh, thank you, Nova. This will be perfect to make the green dye. The bushes usually have one leaf, which is greener and finer than all the others. Find and pick that leaf. Pick a dozen of those leaves from the bushes around here. When you've brought them to me, I can start making the green dye just as nice as the color the Keepers of Aideen use for their clothes. Alright, so some very picky green leaves. Got it. Ooh, twelve. Okay. Two more leaves to go. Thankfully, there's a lot of them in the area. <laughs> okay, good. We got them all. All done, Mrs. Holdsworth. Thank you so much, Nova. I'll start making the dye now. It will be ready tomorrow. Come back then. Or now. While I prepare the dye, you can go talk to the smith, Conrad. I heard that he's made something for you, which he's been working on for a long time. Oh, thank you. I love visiting Conrad. Let's go check it out. Hey, Conrad, Mrs. Holdsworth sent us. Mm -hmm. Nova, you're exactly the person I wanted to see right now. I finally finished the horseshoes I promised you. They look great. Take them and use them on your nice companion, Honey Clover. Thank you. Let's check them out. Ooh, plus one, which is better than our starter gear, which is nothing. <laughs> Thank you, Conrad. He's a good guy, that Conrad. <laughs> hey, my friends. Thanks for joining me today. I'm glad you could spend some time watching my videos. I really appreciate it. There's still some Valentine's stuff going on here. <laughs> We're still in Valentine's mode, but I'm sure when you watch this, it's over, over with. I hope you guys enjoyed the quests and got some fun gifts and presents. 
Crystal said she is three weeks away from getting her Arabian. Maybe by the time she sees this, she'll have gotten it. Ooh, that's so exciting. <laughs> um, she's happy to have a horse to train again because the horses she's had, she has, she already trained. So she needs a new one so she can do some more training. So congrats, Crystal. I hope you got your Arabian. Ghost activist said she locked, unlocked Epona the other day. There's so many clothes to buy. So little time. <laughs> now with more quests to do, there's even less time for clothes. What, who am I kidding? There's always time to get some clothes. <laughs> we'll be getting some new gear for Honey Clover here soon too. <laughs> In one of my videos, I did Lisa's jumping quest. So I was talking to you guys about horse jumping in real life. And I was shocked to think that horses could jump that high. But you guys told me that actually they jump really, really high. Uh, for instance, Bubble Gamer 10 said the record the hor a horse has ever jumped is about 2.4 meters. Um, that's crazy. <laughs> It might be scary, but it's about your passion and trust for your horse and vice versa. It's how much your horse trusts you as well. I can imagine I wouldn't be confident making those kind of jumps if if I didn't trust my rider or as a rider, I didn't trust my horse. So it's about your connection and that's really cool and that's really important. And that's not a connection you can share with a lot of animals. So that makes horses even more special. <laughs> Thank you guys for writing in all the time. Let me know what you're up to. Any questions you have, uh, Star Stable and myself always check out the comments and reply as much as we can. So it's nice to hear from you. I hope you guys are having fun. Have a blast. And I'll see you next time. Bye.